Hey everyone, so it's been a while since I've done a Dollar Tree haul. Um, most of you know that I live in Southwest Florida and we had Hurricane Ian um, come at the end of September into early October. So we are starting to finally get back to normal a little bit. Um, so we had a category for just about five uh, hurricane come through here. And uh, we had no power for about two weeks. Uh, we just got our internet back on recently and we had a lot of damage, um, like a lot of people, our pool cage, our roof, flooding inside the house, um, our fence outside. Um, I really don't want to complain though because a lot of people down here lost everything. So I'm very thankful that we still have a house to come home to um, and we are physically okay. Our family is okay. Um, now it's just the process of rebuilding everything um so i am very thankful that i'm able to do these videos again like i said it's been a while so um i wanted to not put it off any longer hop back on and uh, show you what i got at the dollar tree so here we go i have just a couple bags here nothing separated and i'll just pull randomly from the bags um so the first thing that i got is this um scarecrow on the like stick on the the dowel that's used for your yard um i actually don't need the skeleton the skeleton the scarecrow part at all what i'm gonna do is take him off of this i needed this i needed the dowel part um i had a dowel like this hanging outside of my house with a flag on it and i lost it in the hurricane so i need to replace this um, and I have also have to get a new fall flag that's gone. Um, so I need to um, make little notches in here and I'm gonna tie the string and it's a whole thing. But anyway, I needed this for my flag to act as like the little flagpole. Um, so I'm just gonna pluck him off. Maybe I can use him someplace else, but probably not. I'll probably just get rid of it. Um, but they do have these available and they are cute. I have used these before in my yard. Um, for the holidays, these definitely work better for me than the metal stakes. No, I'm sorry, the wooden ones, because it rains a lot down here. And the wooden yard decor would just like get wet and just literally just fold over. So these are good and the metal ones are good. So I got this for the dowel part of it. Um, I, I went a few days ago, so I actually forgot what's even in here. Um... I got a refill of the Swiffer dusters. I've never used the Dollar Tree ones before. I use um, one of these at work and I needed a refill. So I'm gonna try them, see how they are. Um, I, I would imagine they're okay, um, just like the Swiffer brand. There's two dusters and one handle in here. I have the handle, I just needed the dusters. So, oh, and these are the 360 ones. So that's good, so you can use you know the whole thing um so i'll see how this is i'm gonna bring it to work tomorrow and see how that works um i also picked up these like chip clip chip clips that's what i call them um i thought these were cute really pretty color i need these um it's actually it's funny because before the hurricane, I tried to buy some things that were shelf stable and I bought um, bagged cereal that like we could eat, you know, just dry without milk or anything. And the bagged cereals were really good and they're much better value. So I figured I'd get these, I'll just roll up the bag and clip them and they'll be good. So that's what I got those for. I really don't even remember what I got here. Oh, um, a flashlight. Um, I had gotten a flashlight for my son to keep in his car in a previous haul and you have to hold the button and it was like kind of really didn't make sense why you, you know so I got a regular flashlight where you just turn on and, and let it go so I got this for him and I got um, car wipes for him I had gotten him um, sanitizing wipes but we used them during the hurricane because we didn't have water where we were staying and we use these just to like wash our hands and stuff like that. So I got him car ones um, to keep in his car. So those are for him. He doesn't even know I got those. Um, 
Then I got the legal pads, three pack. I love these. Um, I use these at home and at work for my shopping lists. So I actually keep this on a magnetic clip and I keep it right on my fridge. So as we're finishing things, we just add it right onto the list. So I know what to get when I go shopping and the same thing at work. So these are actually for work for my um, breakfast list that I need when I place my order. Um, what else? That's just my taste test in there. We'll save that to the end. Ugh, I don't even really want to eat it, but okay. Um, then I needed a refill on our magical poop marshmallows. I keep these in our coffee bar. I have a little um, glass, looks like a mason jar kind of thing. And I keep these in it and it looks really cute. Great for like a hot chocolate bar or anything like that. They taste exactly just like regular white marshmallows. But I thought these looked cuter in the glass jar. So I needed a refill on those because my son ate them all. Um, wow, I got a lot of work stuff in here. Um, I got this Ajax uh, dish soap, also for work. Charcoal citrus, which I had never seen before. And I smelt it in the store. And it smells nice. It smells really clean. And I like the Ajax. Um, I've been using that a while at work. I like the color too. It's really pretty. So another work item. Then I also got a restock on the Halloween napkins, which I was really happy to see this print because I really like them. I got these before, very Edgar Allan Poe, which I like. Um, so I needed a refill on these. I've been using these a lot lately um, just to make, you know, quick sandwiches or something. Nothing hot. Like I say, nothing hot or heavy because they will fold. Um, then I saw this really cute dish towel with the gnomes. Uh, what does it say? Gnome, sweet gnome for the fall. This is another work item. I wear an apron at work. Um, and I have a, a hand towel like hanging out of the pocket because I'm always drying my hands. So I figured I'd pick up a little fall one to match the season. So I thought that was really cute. I was actually looking for a Halloween one, but they didn't have it. Then I saw this really cute pen. This is absolutely adorable. I love coffee. So this was just the greatest find. This is for me. I'm going to leave it here in my office. I'm just going to take this sticker off. I thought it was so freaking cute. I'm just going to take this off. I was going to do this haul outside because right now in Southwest Florida, it's in the 60s, which is a little cool for this time of year. It's going to go back to the 80s, but the past two days have been in the 60s and it's been glorious. So I was going to do this haul outside, but my neighbors um, have landscapers there today to try to put her landscaping back together from the hurricane and I wouldn't be able to hear. So I'm here inside, um, but this is the cutest pen. I found this at the checkout. They had a few different kinds. I think a burger, pizza, maybe a soda, like a cola, but this one was my favorite. I love it. it, it it's very... um friends inspired too. I thought that was really cute. So that's going right there. Then I got power stick dry shampoo. Um, I recently, you know, shaved my hair and the dry shampoo works really well. I spray it like at my roots and kind of work it in and it, it makes it easy to style. Um, cause if my hair is just fluffy, it just doesn't do, you know, what I want it to do. I do use a hair wax, like a pomade, um, to style it, but this is also really good at the roots. It's really great for styling. So that's what I got this for. And I had used a Dollar Tree um, dry shampoo before. It wasn't the Power Stick. It was a different brand, um, but I wanted to try this one. This is actually bigger than the last one I got, and it worked really well. I was very happy with the results, so I wanted to pick it up again. Then I just got this candy corn put in my son's little Halloween gift for him. And that is it. So the last thing I have is my taste test, which are beer nuts. 
I wanted to get something that I would not normally buy and this, I would not pick this up. I'm not huge into nuts. Um, these are low sodium, gluten-free. And the brand is Beer Nuts, original peanuts, sweet and salty taste. So I figured I'd try it. So here we go. Let's see inside the bag. You get a decent amount. Right there. Let's try them. Okay, so Beer Nuts is the brand. It has nothing to do with the product. They're just peanuts. Sweet and salty peanuts. And that's exactly what they taste like. For $1.25, not bad. I mean, you're getting a decent amount. If you like peanuts, these are good. You've definitely got the salt on them. So they are pretty good. I'm not going to have any more because I'm full. We just ate lunch. Um, but that was good. Definitely, I mean, you definitely get a good amount for $1.25. Great little snack. I recommend it. Not bad. All right. Well, that is it on this quick little haul. I was just happy to get back on because it's been a while. We've been going through a lot here. I, we do have to have um, walls replaced and everything inside of our home. So I don't know when I'll be making another video, but hopefully in another week or two at the max. Um, and I still am running my business, Beautiful You by Christy. Um, I always plug my business. Uh, the website is beautifulyoubyk.com. And you'll see all kinds of fun things. I actually just uploaded um, new backpacks and purses that I got. So they're on there. You can check them out. And um, that's it. Stay safe out there, everyone. And um, I'll be back on here as soon as I can.